know you're gonna love today's video because I am back for another round of a tried and true craft buddy favorite, Dollar Tree hack. So we're gonna head to the store. I'm gonna show you what easy to find items you need to be grabbing and fun new ways to use them to help you save time, money, and to make your life a whole lot easier. You're watching Whiskey and Wit. My name is Whitney and a huge thank you to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video and helping support Whiskey and Wit and bring you guys a ton of free content. Another huge support system for this channel are my Whiskey Craft Buddies who are here each and every week to DIY with me. If you want to join us, just hit subscribe down below. Make sure the bell is clicked. That way YouTube will let you know when I post a new video. Now without further ado, I've got so much to share today. So let's get into the first hack. We're kicking off with this new item. They come in white and gray and it is this rotating four claw hanger. I have a ton of different ways in my house that I'm using them. I need to go back and get more. The first is why I bought them, and that is to organize hats in our mudroom. Between my husband, my son, and I, we have a ton of hats. You can easily fit up to 10 hats on this. It rotates, so you can easily find what you're looking for, and it's also a great option for scarves or small purses. The second use is down in my laundry room. I clipped it onto our drying rack and I'm using it to dry tank tops and bras. It is just super helpful and it saves me a ton of space on my drying racks for other clothes. And number three is up in my craft room. If you have anywhere to hang it or specifically a craft cart like this, you can clip it on the side and it's a great hanger for Cricut mats. Accessories for these carts are so dang expensive, so it's nice when you can find something cheap like $1.25. You can also add on things like these scrapers. They hang really well, and I would just recommend that you do your mats parallel like this so it lays flat, but I was so excited to find something for $1.25 instead of the $10 per accessory Michael sells them for. Something else I picked up for that craft cart is for my transfer tape, and it is actually an over-the-cabinet towel bar. These come and go. They just recently came back, and I found mine in the kitchen laundry aisle. You pop it apart, and you can add one or two rolls of transfer tape, depending on the size. These are six inches each. You could also add a roll of paper towels if you'd rather have that, but this is another great find to add to your craft cart for only $1.25. I am so ready for produce to be back in season here in Illinois. So to make ours last longer, I've been using glass jars and baking soda. I start by filling a bowl with cold water and filling it with a little bit of baking soda, swish it around to combine, and then drop your fruit in there. I give it a good stir with my hands that are clean, and then I let them sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I take a container with a paper towel on the bottom and take out all the items. I give them a quick rinse to get off any of that baking soda, and then I put them into the jar after they've been kind of, you know, patted off so they're not super wet. The glass jars have really been making them last longer. I do this for blackberries too, and we have gotten almost double the life out of them than we did before. Our next hack comes to us from the toy aisle. Stick with me. We're grabbing these Barbie clothes containers. These are so awesome for craft rooms and beyond. They're great for snacks. They fit the large Happy Planner stickers perfectly. I also love them for glue sticks. There are a ton of different ways that you can use this container. Car snack bag. They fit a ton of different things. And also, if you were able to snag some of these Dollar Tree acrylic bins that they have, these three of them full of stuff fit perfectly file folder style. Then you can slide it on a shelf, you're good to go. And this is stuff you would pay way more for at other stores. I feel like every time I go to put a bracelet on, I am like driving the struggle bus because I can't clip it myself. And so this next hack comes to us from the office supply section. Grab yourself some tape or use tape you already have at home. You can use painters, masking, regular tape, whatever you have. Use it to hook the part that keeps moving on you to your wrist. Hook it, remove the tape, bada bing, bada boom. So much easier, way less headache. I love these Dollar Tree reusable totes so much. They have so many different applications. Not only are they great to keep in your car when you want to cut down on plastic bag usage, but I also like to use them as gift wrap. You just add some tissue, you've got your gift in here, and then also once the person, whoever you're gifting it to, whether it be a birthday party, baby shower, bridal shower, they have some extra room and a heavier duty bag to put the other gifts, and it helps them get everything home so much easier. What I also like to do is if I am hosting a party, Grab some extras of these. How fun is this for baby, bridal, all the different parties. Have three or four of these on hand. Then the guest of honor can fill them up, easily get these into the car, and it makes unloading at home a breeze. 
Widespread PSA for spring cleaning. Make sure you are cleaning out your dryer. I wanted to have a brush to help me get some lint out and I thought this baby bottle brush would be perfect. Now I like to take more steps than just this. You definitely want to be cleaning it out with either a vacuum, one of those hose things, and also we flush our vents, but it's been since last year, so I wanted to get some chunks out before we did the whole shebang, and it was dirtier than I thought. But the brush was really helpful. It helped me get a lot of those pieces out, and in tandem with my vacuum, I was able to get a lot of lint out that my lint trap didn't catch. Now, if you leave me with one thing today, it is do not sleep on making sure that your dryer is safe and clean and get all that lint out because I want to keep all my craft buddies safe, and if you don't do that, it's a fire hazard. Along with the actual spring cleaning, I've been cleaning out our pantry and I have been loving putting our noodles into these glass jars. It really helps us see the different types of noodles that we have. I'm able to show the canisters to Finn and be like, which kind of noodles do you want? And overall, they take up way less space in our pantry when they are in the jars. When I grab my phone to film some behind the scenes content for you guys, especially when I'm editing, I'm rocking these glasses and I've gotten a ton of compliments from you guys. And that also leads to questions like, where did they come from? These are Warby Parker glasses. They have taken a cumbersome time sucking process of getting glasses and made it so much quicker and easier with their free at home try on program. That is how I was able to get these made unique to me, test them out, go through the whole process without ever having to leave my house. To start the process, you're going to head over to warbyparker.com slash whiskey and wit, take a five minute quiz, and then they're going to suggest frames for you as a starting point from their many different options designed in house for every single face shape. Check out all the options, pick your top five favorites, and then in just a few days, those frames are gonna magically appear in your mailbox ready for you to try them out at home. One of my favorite things about being able to try them on at home is to use them in my everyday life. So I sat in front of the computer, I edited like I normally would, and then I knew that they weren't gonna hurt my head after prolonged use. Another great thing to know is that the kit is absolutely free whether you decide to purchase at the end or not, which is great, there's no pressure. But if you do find a pair that you like, you can order them with your exact prescription like I did with these Landon frames and they start at just $95. They are stylish, good quality, and that price is with prescription lenses. You're gonna love the experience of Warby Parker as much as I did. Head to warbyparker.com slash whiskey and wit right now to take the home try on quiz and pick five pairs of frames to try on at home for free. That's warbyparker.com slash whiskey and wit and everything is linked down in the description. The last time I shared these plastic clips, so many of you told me about this hack. Well, I found these plant clips and I think they actually work better. You guys said that you take them on vacation with you because when you go to shut the blinds, there's always that annoying crack with light that comes through quick and easy you clip them on so then that way when you're sleeping you're not going to get blasted in the face with the sun genius thank you craft buddies for sharing underneath my sink with all my hair tools has gotten a little out of control so i was on a mission to find ways to organize i saw this on tiktok i cannot remember who shared it unfortunately but it was a genius idea and since then i've seen a few other people share it and you put the broom holder from the like broom section where they have the heads and the arms, you stick it to the wall and you can pop in your hair accessories, your hair tools, or even brushes like that. And then I grabbed a couple of these collapsible bins. These things are awesome. If you see them, definitely grab them. You can pop them up, use them for storage, and then they store flat when you don't need them. I have so many bins that are not being used right now that are taking up so much space in my house. So I love that I could collapse it when not in use. I filled them both up and they fit perfectly underneath the plumbing under the sink. So I've got hair tools and hair products as well as my dry brush. This whole thing took me maybe 20 minutes and I feel so much more relaxed and organized now about the bathroom, which is great. You should feel zen in there, not stressed out because your stuff's everywhere. And speaking of stuff everywhere, if your drawers look like this, like Finn's did, you definitely need to grab yourself some of these collapsible storage containers. I'm not a huge fan of these to be put in cube organization because they're not the strongest, but they make really good drawer dividers. I started doing this back, if you remember, if you watched my nursery reveal when Finn was almost here, which was four years ago, so crazy. I did this with his baby clothes. We got rid of them in the move and I definitely needed to bring them back. It also gave me so much more space back in his PJ drawer. With tons of holidays coming up, this is a great hack to decorate on a budget. Grab yourself some Dollar Tree plates in fun colors like these blue ones. And Dollar Tree also has napkins now, or you can also do this with their bandanas. 
I have these wood napkin holders that I put the napkins in and I just stacked them on top of white plates I already owned and the pretty flower plates. This is such a beautiful stack and I did the whole table for under five bucks. Speaking of seasonal celebrations, here is a fun Easter hack that I want to make sure I shared with you guys. You can grab any of these cute little chocolate items at Dollar Tree, whether it be bunnies or any other shapes for seasons. Take them out of the packaging and melt up some chocolate. If it's going to bother you that there is chocolate on white chocolate, then please do separate ones. But I didn't really mind because you aren't really going to see them. I added some of this melting chocolate to the back. I used some treat sticks. You can use cake pop sticks. You can also use dowel rods if they came in a package and are clean. You hook them to the back, let it fully dry, and then you can package them up with some Dollar Tree treat bags. I also use some Dollar Tree ribbon to tie them up. And these are so cute. They would make the perfect little takeaway if somebody was coming to Easter at your house. This would be also a great addition to an Easter basket. You can set them up like this if you are handing things out at school. Put a gift card on it, send it to teachers. So many options, quick and easy and adorable. Back in the toy section, I love to pick up these snap bracelets when I'm there. They are great to put around paper rolls, wrapping paper rolls, vinyl rolls, anything that you don't want to crease and don't want to unroll. I put it on all my vinyl rolls and then I keep my vinyl rolls in these Dollar Tree Plus containers in my Craft Island. Super inexpensive and super organizational friendly. Another must have for my craft room are these sassy and chic soak off nail caps. Now I don't use them for my nails. I use them for hot glue. Dollar Tree does sell those hot glue ones, but my fingers are large and they don't fit. So I like that you can get a five pack. You can put them on all of your fingers and it also fits my thumb way better than the hot glue ones. I've seen a lot of people hack these containers that have a lid as well as a magnetic back and I have never bought them. Shocker. But I recently grabbed them because I wanted to have them for my craft cart to be able to put my Cricut pieces on there. This would also be great for different items that are small that you don't want to lose in your kitchen. You just pop them in the container and then you can stick them on to any magnetic surface. You don't want them to be too heavy, but my Cricut Maker blades are kind of heavy and they stay up just fine. These would also be great if you have like tablet chargers or other things. You can pop them in there, stick them on your fridge and your kids or anybody else in your household could easily find them. This next one is another item you can use a bunch of different ways like those hooks at the beginning and that is this makeup brush holder with suction cups on the back. The first way is you could hook it onto a wall or your craft cart and it is a great way to display and store Cricut tools, scissors, a variety of different things. I popped it right on the side of mine. I was able to slide in a few things that I need to access all the time. And for safety reasons, just make sure that you put the sharp edges down so you don't accidentally nick yourself if you're grabbing anything else in your container. The second use was for some cord management underneath my standing desk. It stuck to the metal legs and I was able to take some of these cords that were going nuts and push them into the openings just to keep them out of the way so I don't kick them under the table. Now this doesn't look the prettiest but it does really help with cord management. And then the last variation is for cleaning your paintbrushes or makeup brushes for its intended use. I stuck this to the mirror in Finn's bathroom because that is where I wash all my paintbrushes. It allows me to have them dry upside down like this. Usually I just put them on the counter, but that's not how you're supposed to do it. You can pop them all in there, just put a paper towel underneath so they can drip dry. And then when you're done, you can grab them, put them back where they need to go for the next round of crafting. Always be sure to keep your eyes peeled for viral items that Dollar Tree has done a take on, like this wet brush that sells for way more online. Also, these towel scrunchies to help keep your arms dry when you're washing your face. And same thing with this headband. They have it in child size as well as adult. Ever since I added the shelves to my office, I have some things that want to take nosedives off of them. So I grabbed some of these glue dots, stuck it to the bottom of things like artwork, vases, and also my YouTube play button. It is photo safe, so it's not going to hurt your item, but it's going to grip to the shelf so I can shake it and it's not going to fall off anymore. Thank goodness. Another use for those glue dots are for these little acrylic bins that you can also get at Dollar Tree. If they're sliding all over creation in your drawers, just stick some glue dots on the bottom and they are not going to give you a headache anymore. Would you believe me if I told you this sign was a Dollar Tree DIY? Well, buckle up because all you need for it is a $5 plus section chalkboard. Yep, that's it. 
you're gonna go ahead and tape the outside if you want the outside to be dark like mine if not if you like the natural wood versus the dark wood you can go ahead and leave it but I just taped it off and then used some antique wax and a baby wipe to get the color then it's really easy to get this free file and create your own sign. I did this in a recent Dollar Tree Cricut Blanks video. So if you want to see the full tutorial slowed down, head over to that video. I will link it up above and down below for you. I use a hinge method and it is quick and easy to apply. I used a scrap piece of white vinyl. And this easily is something that you would spend 50 bucks on at a boutique, but you can make it for under 10 bucks in supplies. I absolutely love it. And Dollar Tree Blanks are one of my absolute favorite things to craft with. So if you are looking for more ideas right up that alley, check out the playlist down below. Got another decor hack for you. When the nautical stuff hits your store, it is starting to come out now. Grab some of these because they are so easy to make over for everyday decor. You can pull out one side easily and then you can take your scissors and just chop the other piece. Then you just have one of these jute balls. You can put it on shelves, put them in dough bowls, so many different options. And I really like them without the tail, but honestly they would look good with the tail left on too if you just wanna put them on your shelf like that. If you're looking to add a book stack, whether that be neutral or color, be sure to check the book section of Dollar Tree. My local ones have gotten a ton of options and I recently wanted to add some color to the bookshelves behind me when you watch my videos for my backdrop. So I grabbed a bunch of different books that had different colored spines. I removed the book jackets and set them up on my shelf it adds such a fun pop of color and this is actually a dupe for pottery barn books that they were selling for hundreds of dollars so win 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 i've gotten a ton of requests for wedding diys and while i've been married almost eight years so that ship has sailed this hack is one that i did for my wedding that i wanted to share I did a bulk order of these cylindrical vases from Dollar Tree. You can order them online, have them shipped to your store. And then I bought some candles from Ikea making these table centerpieces for my wedding. So inexpensive and really quick and easy to do. You can get greenery from either Costco or your florist like we did. And it is a quick and easy way to make your tables look nice, but not break the bank. Now that the weather is getting nicer here in Illinois, we're going to be starting things like soccer and other spring and summer activities. That means we're going to be in the car a lot more and my car was a disaster. So I decided to grab some items from Dollar Tree to help me organize and clean my car. This is going to work for you whether you have kids or not. And it's going to just put you off on the right foot into spring with a clean and organized car. So step one was to clean, organize, and do just your traditional vacuuming and cleaning it all up. Then I had to get all this stuff out to then organize it. This pencil case was perfect for all of my feminine products. It keeps it discreet and out of the way. Then I can easily slide it in here. I used these little pencil containers for Kleenex, some first aid stuff, gum. And then I also filled this one with pens, post-its, and some extra hair stuff. And my third one I used for backup chargers. I washed up these reusable snack bags. It was two different packs. So the large comes in a one pack. This comes in a two pack. I thought these would be great for leftover food when I'm traveling with Finn. I can just toss it in there. Also, sometimes there's things that get sticky or you need to contain things like wipes. So I thought having these thicker ones would be great to have in my little console. And now it's so much better. I added in my extra sunglasses that I have in like a protective case. I've got my three white containers, my pink one. Another thing that was driving me up a wall was items falling in between my seat and the console. So I grabbed some black towels. You can grab whatever color matches your interior, shove it down there. And then if you spill, you can easily take it out and clean it. That's what I wanted to be able to do is have something that was easy to be clean. And because it's black, it blends right in. In that same vein, I grabbed some facial mask sponges and put them at the bottom of my cup holders. I'm always spilling coffee or whatever. I'm a klutz by nature. So these are great because if they get dirty, you can just pull them right out and clean them. For the back of my SUV, I decided to add one of these little ring hooks that are actually made for pegboards, but I flipped it around so I could easily store my extra bags because a town near us recently got rid of plastic. And I grabbed a different kind of those pop-up tubs with handles because every time I go to get craft supplies, it never fails. I get something that's going to roll around. I always think we're just having a crazy time back there. So I'll put them in the container. You can pop the bag right in there. And then when you're done, you can fold it flat and put it right back where it goes. 
I hope this video gave you a ton of ideas. Head down to the comments and let me know which hack was your favorite. And also let me know some of your favorite Dollar Tree hacks. I love learning from the craft buddies. A huge thank you to Warby Parker for sponsoring this video. You can head over to warbyparker.com slash whiskey and wit right now to take that home try on quiz. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any future whiskey and wit content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.